I never thought I would ever see a day of peace in my life again after everything I went through. People pointing at me, accusations, court dates, the media. I finally found a light halfway through the tunnel. A light that gave me shelter, tranquility, love and freedom. A freedom I so desperately chased and finally got at the end. But I wish I could say the same today. a world of angels, a world where the carriers of justice revolt from the dark to bring punishment to those who wear the false halos of morality. We are not criminals or vultures. We carry a message of light for those who don't have the means to defend themselves, life for those who earn it, death for those who deserve it. Welcome. Hello, David. Welcome to your test. Public shootings have become more and more common in this country, and sadly, nothing has changed. We expect our government to fix the problem, but instead they focus on the wrong solutions. Change should start with the people, but sometimes the people are the ones contributing to the problem, and you are one of them. You bought and sold more than enough firearms online, including shotguns, rifles, and handguns to various people across the state. One of those people was a 17-year-old student responsible for one of the many school massacres in the past two years. You contributed to the loss of many innocent lives, and tonight your blood lies in your hands. When this tape is over, the glass cube you are in will start filling up with cattle blood, taking away the air you are breathing now. But luckily for you, there is a way to maintain yourself alive. And the way to do this is by putting on the mask and impaling yourself with the device in front of you. The small cavity on the glass behind you will be the source of contact to the mechanical device behind the box, which will open the oxygen tank. The cube will stay filled for one hour and 27 minutes. The blood shed by all those innocent people will be reflected here tonight. Breathe or die, David. Your test begins now.
Good morning, Roger. I hope you're feeling better. My name is Adam Borsella. I know who you are. You're the detective taking over the case. That's right. I see you're well informed. That's all I know. Is it? Yes. I was hoping you would talk to me a bit about all the things you know of the games, your department, and of course, Nathan Ragazzi. Look, I just want to move on from this and go back to the Force. Well, Roger, I'm afraid this is only the beginning of a whole new investigation revolving around Nathan Ragazzi and your department, which, incidentally, you are no longer a part of. What's that supposed to mean? I'm sorry, Roger, but you've been terminated. What about my family? I mean, how am I going to provide for my kid and my wife? I think that's the least of your concerns right now, Roger. How can you say that? You're deep in this mess with Lieutenant Ross gone. You're one of the main focal points of this investigation. So don't get too comfortable. We still have many chats ahead of us. I hope you get well soon. Good evening, everyone. Investigations are continuing into the public torture game involving officers and the lieutenant of the landslide police department. The area has remained closed weeks after the events, and as of now, Levi Wofford, the alleged true killer of Jacob Wofford, is still missing. The latest statement from the police indicates the search will continue. In the meantime, after resurfacing from his disappearance, Nathan Ragazzi appeared in court again, where Judge Haben refused to clear Ragazzi of his charges until Levi Wofford is found, and more investigation is done on Ragazzi's alleged survival of a torture game. The lieutenant of the LPD has assigned Detective Adam Borsella to lead this case. In a statement released earlier to the press this morning, Detective Borsella has promised justice for everyone who deserves it. Nathan, we got the painting. They're shipping it, and it should be arriving soon. Okay. I can't believe we got it. Do you know how many museums and art collectors are fighting for that piece? And now it's ours. Yeah, that's amazing. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just tired. 
Okay, well, get some rest and let me know if you need to go home earlier. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Howard. Hello, Alexander. I'm just checking in. Any news? No, just like I told you last time, I haven't seen him. Come on, Alex. He's your brother. Do you expect me to believe that? You can believe in whatever you want. I have nothing to hide. You're hiding your brother. I've already told you. I've been trying to talk to him, but I don't know where he is, and you've been harassing me for days now. <laughs> We're just trying to find your brother, Alex. Then do your job and find him. Stop putting me in the middle of all this. I'm counting on finding him. Does your superior agree with all these harassments? Well, this visit is on my own time. Then leave before I file a complaint against your department. <laughs> That's funny. Good night, Mr. Wolford. <laughs> 